Hello, welcome to Scratch Day Painting. In this video, we got something big for you. Let's get to this topic. This is Flash Forge Enclosure Kit for the AD5X. Let's open this and let's start printing, assembling this to the AD5X. I've been waiting for this forever. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this. So let's just open this and get to it. Okay, hopefully this is a good angle. So here you will get the installation guide. You will get a thank you card. So this kit, they don't provide you with everything. You have to do some 3D printed parts, but they provide most of the parts that needs to be on the side and on the front for you. I believe these are called pixie glass or something like that, but it's not real glass. Some of these has like a film on top and you can remove them to be very transparent. They also provide you with some Allen wrench and a screwdriver. M3 times 8, ST 2.9, M3 times 20, M3.5 times 12, 4 magnets, M4 times 6 with some blue Loctite, M3 times 8, and some M3 nuts. You get more glass. And yes, these are what I said. You can see that there are some bubble here. You can get rid of this and it will be very Clear. It's kind of fortunate that it's labeled in Chinese here or whatever this language is But I guess I'll use my phone to translate or look at the manual This will be the finished product once I 3D print everything and assemble everything together For this, I don't recommend you print with PLA Maybe PTG, but if you can, print with ABS, ASA, filament that can withstand higher temperature Because let's say you print with PLA, you're gonna go print with ABS um, you're gonna heat up the bed to like 90 to 100 C. It's gonna be very hot. The PLA is gonna warp and it's gonna be very bad. Print something that can withstand higher temperature so you can print all the filament you want. So I was looking at the installation guide here and these are all the parts that needs to be printed in order to get this assembled. I kind of like this and I kind of don't like this, right? This is good for those of us that love customization. Like me, I love to customize my 3D printer. As you can see, my Max, they are sticker, they are all over the place and it's just very fun to customize. But it does take time to print all of this out and assemble them. Some people just want to, you know, Get this, slap it on there, and just be done with it. But for this kit, you need to 3D print the parts yourself. I guess this kind of saved on the money side because if you look at those enclosure that is like fully enclosed, it costs almost like $200. This only costs about $40 or $50, I kind of forget. But I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in this yourself. But enough talking, let's just look at this and get to it. So this is all the piece that we need. Uh, this is the piece C4, D4, with A4 and B4, the corners here. This whole project um, took me two days to print everything out. And we need a whole bunch of sides. This is only the support that I use for all of them. It recommends you use support for everything, but these does not need it. Only the one that is like 90 degree overhang. And it's fairly easy to remove the support. So yeah, we just remove the support like this. And you can just remove it. And I ran out of white, so I print the extra with black. So we gonna have some black and white here. And there are all these extra little pieces along with the front cover, AD5X right here. I wish I have a better angle of this, but my room is a limited amount of space. I want a big room, man. I want a really big room so that I do all my stuff and have extra room. So let's go ahead and start right now. First, we're gonna need the M3 nuts right here. I already took them out, so these are the M3 nuts. And we're gonna be using the M3 times 8 screw along with part A1 and A2. Put in the nuts right here with the screw, the hinge. If you cannot get it to go all the way in, just use like a plier and just put pressure on it. And it should go in like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for all four of them. Okay, once we have all the nuts in place we're going to be screwing in this right here so that the glass can open this hinge goes like this the flat side goes on with the part put it onto the part and get it so that it goes into the nut at the back here make sure when you do this you don't over tight this okay just do it until you feel that it's tight and good enough because it's just plastic parts if you over tight this this might break or this might break and you will have to reprint everything again. The A1 goes on the bottom, the A2 goes on top. We need to remove the top two screw from the 3D printer itself because if you fit this here, this hole is on the top two screw. So these two screws, we need to remove them, put this in, and then we'll replace them. They provide M4 times 6, so we're going to use this for this, this, and this. I'm going to use the provided screwdriver. Don't over tight. You don't want your piece to break. Now let's do the bottom piece. For the bottom piece, you don't need to remove any screw. 
there are screw holes and screws provided. I feel like there's gonna be so many screws. I'm gonna use my power drill just to make this process a lot faster and easier for me. I'm gonna be using my power screwdriver here. It's from Papulo. I'll leave it link down below. It comes with all these with some extra drill and extension. I'll leave it a link down below. We got A1, A2 stock with the hinge. That's good. Now we're gonna do the back side here. So I'm gonna remove my basket bin right here. Just remove my slide basket here. Then we're gonna install B2 and B1. But before we do that, we need to remove this top screw. We're gonna have to remove this screw right here. So the bottom three, now the bottom is this one over here. This one. And then we'll put this one back. We cannot use the basket anymore. So since this is covering this, unless we don't use this, but if we don't use this, then we cannot install the glass. <laughs> if we do this, then go over, right? And we cannot use this screw anymore. So I guess uh, I'll just have to extend this a little bit and maybe just don't use this screw or adjust it so that we can use this bottom screw right here with this one right here. But that would take a little bit of experiment but I will try and see if there's something that can work. If you want to see that video and get the model, subscribe to the channel so that when that comes out, you don't miss it. We're not gonna install all the screws here and here and here. This is so much easier. There we go, we are done with B. So let's go to C and D. Now that we're gonna be doing this side, we need to take off all of the filament out. We also need to remove all four of these. And we also need to remove these clips as well from this machine. Okay, I got all of these removed here. So now I'm gonna install C. Same thing again, we need to remove this top screw, and this bottom screw right here. So once we have this installed, we can go ahead and install this clip back onto this. But for this time, we're not gonna use the small screw. We will have to use the M3 times eight because it has extra width in there. So we need these screws in order to reach the frame so that these will stick and not go anywhere. Next, the last side right here. What we need to do is remove this screen. So just push it towards the right side, careful, without detaching anything. You don't want to detach or you don't want to uh, mess up with the wire. So we're just gonna let it hang here. So for this side, we need to remove these two only. I'm gonna go ahead and install the top one here first. And now let's get the bottom one installed. Now that we got that in, we're gonna install these two bracket here and then put the screen back. So with the screw that I took from here, I'm just gonna put it in this bag so that I don't lose it. This is the guard piece. We're gonna have to use magnet for these two spots right here. They give us magnet. For these two magnet, we gotta use some adhesive or like some super glue so that the magnet does not fall out. I just got some regular super glue here. I'm gonna put a drop in there and then I'll put in the magnet. Now I'm just gonna push in one of the magnet first. So if you can't push it down, just do something like this. You really just need like a drop. And look at my hand, I got some super glue on it. So just like a small, small drop in there. Install the camera onto the these two slots and then we'll put this here. I guess to make it easier, we can just install this right here. There we go, we got the screen installed. Just put the cover in and then just put the screen back. If we look at the picture here, it has a hole, four hole and a hole here. And none of them has that. Even these piece, it only has two, two. Okay, so what I'm assuming the side plate is this. It's different, but I think it's this one. We need to also remove this. Let's go ahead and install this side plate here. And you know what, before I install, I'm gonna remove the plastic cover. Just look at that. Just look at how clear that is now. Oh my gosh, that looks so beautiful. Slide it down. Stuck on the screws. It's stuck on the screw, so I'm gonna loosen these a bit. Okay, I got ahead and loosen all the screw. So hopefully now we can push this in easier. Okay, if, if we look at this, um, I don't know if, this is supposed to be there, but it does not fit. Maybe I got this on the wrong side. These two holes fit, but these doesn't even line up. Let's just keep it going. Okay, so I just did the other side and flip it. So if I were to do this all over again, I wouldn't have done how the instruction told me to do it. Um, what I would have done is put this in like this, put this in like this, but I'm not gonna screw everything in like super tight. I'm gonna just Make sure that this does not fall off. Make sure that the screw is not falling off and make sure that everything is a little bit sticky in place. Then I'm gonna be putting this acrylic sheet in there first so that, you know, I have room for a movement and stuff like that. Push it all the way in. 
So once I have this, then I will go ahead and screw all the screws in. I would have done it like that if I know the process already. But first time doing it, so don't really know. Now we're going to be doing this door handle right here. We need to put um, glue in here and the two magnets. Okay, so I'm just going to do a small, small, small drop in here. Not even like a drop, just like half a drop, like a small dab in there. And use this to push it in. Okay, yes, I used the perfect amount of glue. It does not spill maybe a little bit on this side but that was so much better than the first one now that we got the two sides installed we're going to install the front glass now so this is going to go on like this um the door handle is going to be right here so it's going to go in right here make sure you line up this correctly and not do it like this because that'll be at the bottom that's not correct so for this door we're going to be using these type of screw so that it will lock in with the printed part and with the acrylic door here okay there you go i got the door handle installed right here uh, so it goes in like that the magnet the handle outside the magnet side the screws on the inside like that and again if i'm going to do this again i'm not going to do it like this i'm actually going to put this connected yeah that's the problem right there that's the problem right there if you do this i recommend you connect this with this and then install it on here because installing on here is so much easier than installing this with this because you gotta force the screw to go into the hole right here and that takes a lot of work so install the hinge onto this acrylic sheet first and then you can do it later on with this plastic piece and the machine it's gonna be so much easier i ran into another problem if you have a camera right don't wire like that wire over this plastic piece so that the door can close you see that so take out the wire wire from up there to the screen so that this does not happen to you okay i've been playing with the door here and you really need to adjust this luckily they made like an oval hole so you can move the glass up and down left and right um yeah you're gonna play with this a couple of times in order to get a really nice fit with everything just a little bit of small clearance at each corner so that it fits in very nicely it's not gonna be like covered like 100 percent. you need a small gap in order to make this cover smoothly so what i recommend is you use one screw on top use one screw at the bottom you close it and if it does not fit you just unscrew one screw adjust it screw it back in unscrew the other one adjust it and then screw it back in and then just close it check it again and if it closed smoothly like this then you are good to go to the next step if not then just keep adjusting and definitely i think I'll need to put some lubrication in these hinges so that it stops making these squeaky noise. I think I need to get some of these screws myself. I am starting to like these screws so much more. Okay, now that we have the front glass installed, I still need to put some lubrication there. Let's go on to the next step. The next step is to install these plates up here. We're going to be using these screws next to make these on top of here. There is no like um, connection. You just got to line up, screw it in here. Uh, I feel like they should have done something like this, right? So that you can put it on top, lock it, and use the screw to lock it in also. I feel like they should have done that here, but... Like that, we got all the top here installed. And now it's just these and then the cover. I think we're going to do the cover first. They prefer you put this on the right-hand side. Finally, take off all the acrylic plastic. I'm going to first install the front piece here. All these just slides in very smoothly like that. The side panel which is just going to be this one. It's going to go on to this side right here. Um, it's for the multicolor for the tube to go in here. I get it. Luckily, I did not reinstall that right after I installed the left panel. Okay, and to let you know, there is this cable right here that is like um, making this piece not be able to go down. So what I decided to do is disconnect this cable i guess i wire this outside something like that there you guys go you guys are so high now so next what i'm gonna do is connect all of these top pieces and then put it on top so these are just dovetail joint you just push in if this does not want to go just keep forcing it just hammer it you can just use them to clamp like this right and then you just keep you just keep pumping this there we go, finally got it in. I think it was just my 3D printer that's kind of bad and I was forcing it so hard, I this is cracked. But I think it's still in the hole, so let's just... So it's gonna go in like this, make sure it fits. There we go. And to finish everything off, put the top glass. That's not 
you do it. This is Flash Forge logo. Oh my gosh, what happened here? I have no idea. It was from this. I was pressing this and the clamp right there. Ouch, that hurt. I don't feel it, but tomorrow it's gonna hurt. Uh, but this is Flash Forge logo. It's gonna be the top for the lid. There we go. That fits perfectly. Now it's for the side here. We got this clip. Clip it here to protect the acrylic. I think these have clips here, so you can just push it in like this, and it fits perfectly with a slight movement. I'm gonna have to disconnect all of these and then wire them through here, and then we'll have to connect them again. I tried to take these off once but i have no idea how to do it is it just pushing i guess it's just pushing these are some of the hardest lock i had ever seen i tried using my fingernail and i cannot even push this thing down it's so freaking hard yeah it's good that it's this hard so that it locks in the tube but remove them is a pain i gotta use a tweezer push down as hard as i can right here and then force pulling this thing just barely got it this is one of the hardest things I had ever done. Oh, well, there we go. Um, it's kind of damaged, but <laughs> that is so hard to do. Wow. Now for this one, we're going to be using the M320. We need this spacer here. That's why we're going to be using the M320. Drew it in this hole right here. Now that we have that, I'm going to take these and put it out here. The back cable is going to come here. Plug in like that. It's going to go on the outside now. We are finished and it looks pretty good, in my opinion, <laughs> with random colors, but hey, it looks pretty good, in my opinion. So yeah, there we go. That's how you install 85X kit from FlashForge. Oh, and yeah, don't forget to reinstall these back so that you can have your multicolor printing. It looks pretty cool to me. It looks really cool. I like it. I like the look of this. What do you guys think about this? Does it look cool? Does it look bad? I feel like they could have made this a little bit shorter maybe like up like right here so that it just saves an extra space on top but overall i think it looks pretty cool it fits perfectly a little bit on top overall for this i'm gonna give it like a eight out of ten there you go it took me about like an hour and 30 minutes just to completely finish the build for the ad5x i think it's definitely worth it once it's totally finished it looks pretty cool it looks really professional in my opinion it's just me i don't know maybe you have a different opinion but i think it looks really cool with the finish really clear acrylic panel is what makes it so cool some other 3d printers that comes with pre-glass um, some of them is like kind of dark and you can't really see through it but the ad5x here the acrylic sheet is like so clear you can see through it and i also hope that this will reduce the noise a lot because when i print the ad5x the movement is like so loud and the fan is also so loud so hopefully this will reduce the noise by like at least 10 to 15 decibel. I guess I'll try and test that and make a short video for it. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, the overall process was pretty good. The instruction is clear, straightforward. But if I were to do it again, like I showed you earlier, I would put the glass panel in there and then screw everything in. Just because you can have some wiggle room, some prints might be more, more tight. It's going to get stuck on some screws. So that's what I would have done. And also for the door, I would have put the hinges on the acrylic glass first before installing to the corner piece there. But hey, whatever works for you, go ahead and do it. There is another version of this. It's like the volcano version. So I might try to print that in the future, but that takes like what? That might take like three to four days just printing. So that's why I decided to use this one instead. But that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you, if you have any questions or comments, put it in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming all the time. And if you have yet become a member of the YouTube channel, it helps me tremendously. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep on 3D printing.